The idea of your conscience haunting you after hurting an animal is obviously a pretty great idea for a message in a cartoon, but that's basically where the good things about this cartoon ends. Angel Puss is a 1944 Warner Brothers cartoon directed by Chuck Jones and written by Lou Lilly and Michael Maltese, and we have Mel Blanc voicing various characters. This is actually one of the Censored Eleven cartoons. I think it might be the last Censored Eleven I have to watch. In fact, no, I don't think that's true. I think there are a few more. But certainly, I would say it's one that stuck out to me the most as being rather problematic. It's about this young African-American boy who's obviously illustrated in a very caricature style. And straight away, it's very problematic. And I can see exactly why this was turned into a Censored Eleven cartoon. So some of them are a little bit harder to kind of see why they made that decision. This one, no, that's not difficult. And it turns out that he's been paid four bits to drown a cat which in itself is not something I wanted to watch. I don't like, even when it's cartoons, I don't like thinking about that. So straight away I was like, okay, this cartoon isn't for me. And this cat tricks him and pretends to be his conscience and then pretends to haunt him and make him feel guilty for what's happened. And I won't say, you know, any more about that. I won't go into any specific details because I don't want to spoil it. I don't know if that's the right turn of phrase there, but... Certainly, it's you know it's an interesting idea. If it had been the same story, but if it hadn't used the caricature of an African American uh, and a child for that matter, um, it would have been different. You know, if it, if there were no kind of racial connotations at all, or racist connotations rather, um, and it was just a story about somebody who had killed an animal and they were starting to feel guilty and their conscience was getting the better of them. Fantastic, brilliant, great message. Don't kill somebody or a pet or an animal because you'll feel guilty and it'll eat away at you. But because there are problematic parts of the animation and, and it's just, yeah, it, it's worth watching because it's an interesting concept, but it's also worth watching to see how not to do this kind of cartoon. I think the Censored Eleven are, are all worth watching to learn from them. Uh, and I think that's one of the reasons um, why they have value, at least a little bit, because it shows that cartoons were previously done like this and we have thankfully learned from them and learned not to do it it's definitely uh, an interesting concept very problematic in its execution i'd say it's worth watching for the right reasons there are things that are definitely wrong about it had it been less racist then yeah i think it would have been a really good idea the whole drowning a cat subject matter is not something that i would choose to watch if I were not watching all the Warner Bros. cartoons, I wouldn't even look at it. But it's worth watching, I'd say, at least once. It's very fascinating. Definitely provides a lot of um, discussion points, at the very least. But I'll be honest, I'm not going to be watching it again.